Hello friends, my name is Missy. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. In today's thrifting video, we are going to hit up four stores. I'm really excited to share this video with you today. It seemed like things were looking pretty slim and then bam, found some amazing things. So stay tuned for that. I will also show you as I find those items, how I am using them in my home. And I have some fun vlogging footage for you in this video as well. So let's go ahead and get into this today. Huh? I got that sign. Right there. This here is a piece that I really regret not picking up. Um, it's not really my style for my home. It was $9, but I think it would have been something really unique in my booth and especially in spring going into summer. I think maybe the reason that I did not grab it was because it was contemporary, but it was really different and I do kind of regret leaving that one on the shelf. And then I kind of came across this little house right here and it was really in the middle of nowhere somebody must have um, decided against it and then kind of set it down in the frames and I did consider this one as well um, for my new vintage booth but I went ahead and I passed on it too Heading in now to store number three, and there are always some cute things in this store. It's called the Too Good To Be Through thrift store. She has some super cute copper pieces. This is actually where I picked up my little copper piece that I'm currently using to hold my coasters, but there's always some really cute things in this store. I am just kicking myself as I'm watching this back as I'm editing because I meant to grab this chimney for $4.99 and I completely forgot about it. We had donated a hutch to that store and I just, I forgot about it and um, I'm hoping it's there the next time that I go back. Now we're going to go ahead and head into Leroy's Antiques and Collectibles and it's always fun to stop in here. It's kind of a newer store for me to go to and I came across this piece right here. I love things like this. You guys know that. 
I love things that are different, that have a homemade touch, and this is definitely something that I had to bring home. Now, when I saw it, I immediately thought I'm going to put this outside. Right now, I have it on my front porch and I have it sitting on this bench. I think it's absolutely adorable. I have not hung it yet because I don't have anything to hang it from my vinyl siding. Um, I probably will do that in the future, but I just did not have what I needed to do it today. But it is super duper cute on my porch. It was so windy. Look at my flag there, but love it and I'm so happy to add this to the porch. It's just a lot of fun. was incredibly bummed that this chicken butter dish had so much uh, chipping on it. It was absolutely incredible, adorable. I would have brought it home in a second if it had not been damaged, but it did have a couple of places with some pretty significant chipping, but it was very cute. And this tin right here, I absolutely adored. I love collecting old tins and this was definitely one for five dollars that I was going to bring home today and I have it up here displayed with all of the rest of my tins. I love this feeling of the tins on the top of my hutch because I just feel like it's when you go into like a vintage store or a restaurant that's kind of decorated in a vintage flair and they have those items kind of up top high. So that's kind of the feeling that I get. And then bam, this chicken wire basket was adorable. $10, found it as we are going up to check out. And you know that I have started collecting these if you saw my last video, I believe. Not the bonus video, but my last uh, video before that. I am putting them on my mug rack in my kitchen. Good morning. It is Saturday, April the 13th, about 8.05, and we are getting ready to head down to Marietta to set up my booth today. I am very excited, but I am also really tired. It's been a lot of work this last uh, week and a half or so, but I hope that it really pays off, and I'm really looking forward to sharing this with you today as much as I can. Don't mind the dirty windows, please. It has done nothing here in Ohio but rain. So there really hasn't been a reason to clean them, but we're all packed up and we are ready to go. High performance action right here. I'm recording your high performance action. I'm about to put on a truck driving display. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't put me in the video. <laughs> Don't Not right now. Oh, what's wrong? I'm not. Bad hair? Yeah. 
Mm. Bad hair, bad outfit. Bad hair, bad, <laughs> bad outfit. It is a work day. Look at my hair. Yours looks fine. Don't mind the crazy hair today, it's just thrown up because we're going to be doing a lot of work. We have officially made it to the store. It was a terrible drive, so I'm going to complain much. The road that we normally take to get here was closed due to flooding. We have had so much water, so much rain here in Ohio. Uh, along the river so we had to take a different route to get here so we are running a little bit behind but we're here and that's the best thing so getting ready to start getting set up now and we're going to see how this all kind of comes out today See? I mean, it's like filling up. Hmm. Now, what do you think? Because if I put that stand there, it's going to come out here too. And you're barely going to be able to walk in there. I don't think I'm going to be able to use that. You said hutch. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, it's going to leave a really little walkway. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it. Just use the mantle in this and then Do you have put my other things over there. I think so. I mean, I've got that hamper and so we'll try that. All right, before I turn you around and show you the booth, um, first of all, I've already sold something, which is awesome. I'm really excited about that. It was a yellowware, um, like a green glaze pitcher. So really excited. Also though, I did not bring enough stuff. So I'm going to warn you of that before I turn you around and show you the booth. It looks really cute, but it is a little sparse. Um, I underestimated how much I was going to need. So keep that in mind if you are ever setting up a booth to have more than you think you're going to need. So let me turn you around here and show you what it looks like. All right, here is my little booth space right now. Okay, so I had planned to put a hutch here, but it was just not going to fit. So I have a quilt rack with a vintage quilt, tablecloth, scarf, and then up here in the front, I have some baskets to kind of fill in that space. I have a rug here, but I am going to need to get like some rug tape to put on the bottom so that it doesn't continue to move about. I have this vintage hamper up here on this side because I wanted things to be on this side as well so that when you are walking by you can still uh, see things. So you'll see some familiar pieces here. I absolutely love this. I found this for two or three dollars, this um, glass Hoosier jar, but here is the table that I have set up on this side. And these pieces were actually two separate pieces. My husband um, hooked them together for me. I got this for $12 recently at the thrift store. I also have a little sign up here about following me on YouTube. 
but yeah it took a good bit more to fill the space up than I thought it was going to take and then I actually have this space back here too so what we're going to try to do is find like a taller corner cabinet or maybe you know make something work out of some crates and then here is this vintage like I think it's like a hutch top or a bed top I'm not sure but hubby put some shelves in there for me to use a little rustic hanging planter there and I wanted to have a lamp to kind of add some coziness and then this beautiful picture up here to add some height and then here was my idea with the shelf with the vintage books in it kind of displayed and then there's my little Amish lady you've seen her in this adorable little Japan cat so here it is pretty empty as you can see because I wanted to kind of have the crate and the baskets underneath over here filling in the space so didn't quite work out like that and this is one of my favorite pieces in the booth this silver plate um, silverware wind chime I actually thrifted that for nine dollars and it is so neat I just really really like that piece but yep this is a look at it it's a start and it's going to be a fun journey so I hope that you'll continue to come along with me on that journey if you want to continue to see booth updates just let me know down in the comments that's going to go ahead and wrap up this part of the video we're going to have to go do some thrifting we've got shelves to fill down here and a lot of fun coming up so stick with me